Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So social security payments at this moment are on track to see another increase. We'll be going over the good and bad news of that. Plus, Donald Trump was just fined over $350 million plus banned from doing any type of business in the state of New York for three years. So we'll be covering that as well. But before we go ahead and dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm. And also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $9,000 in free stocks or $9,000 in free cash, in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Weeble. All you have to do is once you click on that link, is just sign up for a free account and then deposit at least one penny. At that point, Weeble will be sending you at least three free stocks worth, once again, all the way up to $9,000. And if you'd rather just have the cash, all you have to do is once you receive those stocks, is just sell them for what they're worth and then transfer the cash value right back to your bank account. Okay, so diving right into our lead story of today's video and that involves social security and the likely increase that is going to be happening for the cost of living adjustment coming up in 2025, which is next year. Of course, with that, there's going to be both some good and bad news. So we will be covering that in today's video. So this is an article from The Motley Fool. First off, we're going to take a look at this chart of inflation we've seen over the years. Uh, since the 80s has really gone up and down and of course that most recent spike that took place during 2021 2022 as you see it has been coming down but it still is not yet back to where it was in let's say 2015 2016 2017 but they mentioned here that of course social security's 2025 cost of living adjustment may have a silver lining so the december inflation report released by the bls in mid-january offers a potential silver lining for all 67 million plus Social Security recipients. They say that the Federal Reserve's most aggressive rate hiking cycle in over four decades has sent mortgage rates soaring after a period of historically low lending rates. The end results have been fewer existing homes on the market for sale and considerable renting, rental pricing power for landlords. As long as shelter prices remain elevated, I believe there's a good chance that Social Security's 2025 COLA will come in higher than the 2.6% average over the past 20 years. And for what it's worth, the CPIW rose by 3.3% over the past 12 months as of December 2023. If, hypothetically speaking, Social Security's 2025 cost of living adjustment settles around 3% during the third quarter, the average retired worker benefit would rise by close to $60 per month in the upcoming year. So that's a good news there, a $60 increase on average for Social Security beneficiaries if that ends up being the case for the COLA for 2025. Of course, with that, there's going to be some bad news as well, which they go on to mention. So they say that following a period of lackluster cost of living adjustments between 2010 and 2021, which saw three years where no COLA was passed along, as well as a fourth where benefit checks rose by a meager 0.3%, a fourth consecutive year of above average COLAs in 2025 would be a welcome sight. Unfortunately, it won't be free from negative repercussions. Although historically high shelter inflation is what could just juice the program's COLA in 2025, shelter is one of the two major expenses, medical care being the other, that accounts for a higher percentage of monthly expenditures for seniors than working age Americans. In other words, if the inflation rate for shelter remains stubbornly high, the purchasing power for retired workers would be expected to decline even if the 2025 COLA comes in above its average over the past two decades. They say that in May 2023, the Senior Citizens League, a nonpartisan senior advocacy group, released a study that examined the steady loss of purchasing power, whereas aggregate cost of living adjustments between January 2000 and February 2023 rose by 78%. The cost for a typical basket of goods and services purchased by the average retiree jumped by 141 0.4% over the same timeline. According to TSCL, the purchasing power of Social Security income for seniors has declined by 36% since 2000. So of course, that is the bad news there. Even if the COLA does go up next year in 2025, more than likely seniors are going to lose purchasing power once again. So even though you are going to be receiving more in your check, 
more than likely it's not going to make up for the fact that inflation is actually higher for the goods and services that you're paying for than what you're receiving in your cost of living adjustment. But let me know your thoughts and comments below on that. Do you believe that the annual colas are keeping up with the inflation on goods and services that you normally pay for? But in some other news, of course, there was a ruling in the Trump case in New York, and it was found that Trump actually owes over $350 million in legal fines, plus he's going to be banned from doing any type of business in the state of New York. This is according to Reuters. So Donald Trump must pay $354.9 million in penalties for fraudulently overstating his net worth to dupe lenders, a New York judge ruled on Friday, handing the former U.S. president another legal setback in a civil case that imperils his real estate empire. So, of course, the argument against this is that I guess in the end, he did pay off all the debts. So even though he may have, you know, overstated his value and his net worth, he ended up paying the bank in full. So the bank did not lose any money on giving him those loans. So that's kind of the argument against why he should not have been fined in this case. And obviously there are a lot of Trump fans who are upset with this ruling. And right now we actually have truckers who are going to be uh, boycotting, I guess, doing business, doing routes to or from New York City. So let's go ahead and take a listen. I've been on the radio talking, talking to drivers for about the last hour, hour 15 minutes. And uh, I'm talking to at least 10 drivers going the other way. I'm heading down from South Wisconsin. And uh, they're gonna start refusing loads in New York City starting on Monday. All right? Uh, I got about three drivers that I drive with. They already vibrated the boss and told them, they ain't going to New York City. So, I, I don't know uh, how far across the country this is or how many truckers are going to start denying loads to go going to New York City. But, <laughs> I'll tell you what, you fuck around and find out. Okay? We're tired of you motherfucking leftists fucking with Trump. Okay? You know, motherfuckers are starting to get tired of this shit. And, and, you know, our bosses ain't gonna care if we deny the loads. We'll just go somewhere else. Alright? You know how fucking hard it is to get into New York City with one of these motherfuckers? Man, fuck that. Alright? I'll tell you. I, 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 I don't wish nothing on nobody, but by what I'm hearing, this is real, this, you know. Now, in addition to the truckers boycott, there's also been a GoFundMe page set up for Trump's legal fund. Uh, right now, we can see that they're wanting to raise the full $355 million that he was fined by in the state of New York. Of course, they are going to appeal that decision, but as of right now and this morning, it is they have raised $209,000. $35. It will be interesting to see how much they end up raising in total there. But that's all we have for today's video. Certainly hope that you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate it. if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you in the next video.